Well, for months, the talk has been about packing the palace. OU bringing back former players for a reunion like never before. Between the alumni, Brent Venable's first coaching performance, and of course, the man of the day. If OU wanted the Sooner faithful to come, they got him. 75,000 fans in attendance, shattering the previous record by a good 20,000. And the Sooners' new head coach had him fired up from the moment he walked in. Stoops, Kyler, CD, Creed, alumni in the hundreds, back on the field where they made their names known. The players getting their moment before the game thanks to a special tribute from Coach Venables. For me, I'm like, these guys, you don't come back unless you love your university. You don't come back unless you had a great experience. You don't come back uh, unless this place means so much to you. Not only do they come back, a lot of them live here. And uh, they live here throughout the state. And um, so super humbled, very proud, uh, brought back so many amazing memories and uh, reconnected. It just fills your heart up. At halftime, the man with the newest statue in Heisman Park got a standing ovation in Memorial Stadium one more time. Baker's statue unveiled on the big screen, overwhelmed by the moment. All number six could say was, wow. You know, you can, you can hear about it, that the ticket sales and all that, and of all the guys coming back, but until you're actually here and in the moment and seeing some of these former players and seeing Bob, seeing Switzer, I mean, I ran into Tommy Harris and Gerald McCoy. And I mean, that could go on and on about the former players. It just, it's so special. So until we were here and in the moment, I didn't realize uh, what an honor this really was. And I just, I love that we got to do it inside the stadium with, you know, the excitement of the, uh, the new staff, new players and all that. So I just think the all encompassing family atmosphere that we're all in it together, I, I think was probably my favorite part of this whole thing. In all the fanfare, fans, young and old, wrapped up in nostalgia, there was a game to be played. The future of OU, Lebby, Ruth and Venables at the helm, giving Sooner Nation a first look. The running backs ruling the day. Eric Gray for a second spring game stealing the show. In just four carries, Gray running for 53 yards. Javante Barnes, game highs, 17 carries, 60 yards, and two touchdowns. And with the former number 28 in the crowd, number 29 was paying homage. Tawi Walker getting the most work of anyone on the white team. He wouldn't go down easily at all. Walker punching in an 11-yard rushing touchdown in the first half, but even he couldn't escape the red team defense. First half, three drives, three forced turnovers. A Walker fumble at the goal line. Drake Stoops stripped on a swing pass, and Dylan Gabriel picked off for his only interception on 28 pass attempts as he played quarterback for both sides. But Gabriel redeemed himself, hitting Marvin Mims for a 33-yard score and leading the red team to a 21-17 victory. The crowd was crazy. Sooner Nation, you guys are the best. Uh, I did, when I went out there at 150, it was a full crowd basically. I was like, man, this is insane. It don't even compare. Like the people there, the energy, it felt like an actual game. It was special. This was like a regular season game. I mean, fans were out there, they were deep. They came early, making noise. I mean, it was like a regular season game and it means a lot to us. Um, it's a tradition we're building. I mean, they definitely showed up and showed out, so we're really thankful for that. Wonderful day. Uh, couldn't have scripted it any better. Um, that crowd today was on fire. That's That was pretty amazing, 75,360. Not only just a lot of people here, but passionate. That's what I noticed. You could, um, it, was, it was like a big game. And um, to me, that's what, you know, we want to create, you know, each and every time that we play. Well, the red team got more points on the scoreboard, but it sounds like if you ask Brent Venables, Sooner Nation and the OU program as a whole got the biggest win today with a crowd that will rival the home opener on September 1st. In Norman, Chris DiMaria, 2 News Oklahoma Sports.